What if our dreams never came true? Would we be ever able to dream? What would our lives be without our dreams? Dreams are the life spring of our creativity and the essence of who we are. As C.S. Lewis once said, there are no limits to our imagination and we are never too old to set goals or to dream a new dream. When I was five or so, I have read a book for children with some illustrations of a structure of a physical matter. And I think this was the moment when I decided that I want to, to study these things. My passion for the native cultures of Mesoamerica started when I was about 12 or 13 years old. Uh, the inspiration came from travelers' stories and archaeological books. I had a dream uh, in high school to become a successful astronomer. Uh, I wanted to go to one of the best universities after my PhD and uh, to become a professor before 40. The European Research Council is the first pan-European organization dedicated to promoting bottom-up, curiosity-driven research. It enables outstanding scientists from across the world to realize the scientific aspirations by funding groundbreaking research in Europe. ERC projects can contribute to addressing social challenges and improving daily life. The purpose of our research is to reconstruct and understand the cross-cultural contact and transfers between Europeans and the native peoples of the Americas. The main focus is the Nahua or Aztec word, um, Nahua culture and language. It is in danger of becoming extinct and its speakers suffer from many forms of discrimination. We also study the European side of cross-cultural exchange and the impact of native languages, including Nahuatl, on Spanish. One of exciting extensions of my EOC project has been the use of experimental structural biology to study the structures of RNA molecules. We are predicting structures of RNA molecules theoretically, and we are studying them using a variety of biochemical methods, but uh, the ultimate confirmation, validation of our predictions could be with RNA crystallography. It's very important to know that this is actually a two-way collaboration because uh, uh, your group is doing modeling on s some of the complexes involved in DNA repair we're interested in, and we gain a lot of valuable insights from those models, and they, they're very helpful for us. This is actually an example mm -hmm. of two ERC grants being funded in one place for two different projects that have huge synergy. The project that I'm working now uh, on with my students is about uh, searching for extrasolar planets around binary stars, and to achieve this goal we are establishing a network of robotic telescopes. This network will be global. It means that we will have at least one telescope on uh, each continent in the southern hemisphere. Working on the ERC grants allows me to network with other researchers who are also ERC ORDs. I applied for the ERC grant because I believed that the research I proposed is at the very frontier of both current uh, knowledge and scholarly practice. I do benefit from the European funding because it's competitive and it's prestigious and it grants you quite a bit of money and we needed this kind of money to, to, do, to carry out this project with, because it's not cheap. Teamwork based on the collaboration of European scholars and native students and scholars is crucial and I believe that real progress and groundbreaking research in our discipline can only be achieved through teamwork. Eh, Piali, eh, nano toca victoriano. Eh, ni de quien tiquite si moguaya pampa. Nani machilia pan mi actla tepacli polistio wi mi actla tolme. My team is multidisciplinary, and I am working with experimentalists and theoreticians, and people with very diverse backgrounds. What may be quite surprising, Poland is. Uh... It's a pretty good place to do research because the, the amount of funding for research grants is uh, increasing. With the support of the ERC, Blue Sky Research is made possible. And a great number of scientists can not only aspire to their dreams, but can make them come true.
I was born in Torrent, this is my hometown. Uh, Nicolas Copernicus was born here as well. Uh, in fact, I have the same initials as him. I think by staying in Poland, I can make a difference. What I've done and what I currently do in my research has been crucial for understanding who I am and why I want this kind of work to be done in Poland and more broadly in Europe. Thank you.